Quimitra Wilborn is in the studio with what the family has to say. Quimitra. Just days before her graduation, family members say she was out with her friends when her life was cut short. They say she was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Me as a father, I just want people to know that my daughter's gone, but she will never be forgotten. And me and my family, we're going to keep her name uplifted like she's still with us because she is. She's in our heart. And can't nobody take that away from us. It's graduation day at Laurel High School. For many, it's a day of joy. But for others, it's a day of sorrow. She, she was just one of a kind. Addie May's seat remains empty. She was stripped away of her chance to walk due to gun violence. Family says she had her entire future ahead of her. Her father says she was a daddy's girl who was set to attend Alcorn State. He says she wanted to be a doctor. That really bothers me because they didn't only take her, but they took all the people's lives that she could have affected as being a doctor. Her sister, Precious May, says her and Addie were best friends. Precious, who has a five-month-old daughter, says Addie loved her niece like she was her own. It's not easy for nobody at all. If you knew Addie, you loved Addie. Father, Kevin May, says he was at work when he received the call around 5 that morning from Precious that Addie had been shot. And she told me, she said, Addie had been shot. And I said, no, I just, I just broke down. And I said, I'm, at, I'm, I'm, I'm on, on my way before I can get to my supervisor. She called me back and said, Daddy, she didn't make it. Three days later, her mother is now collecting her daughter's diploma. We thank God for the 18 years that we did have her. And just, just remember her smile because she's always smiling. Now, we spoke to Sheriff Randy Johnson with the Jasper County Sheriff's Department, and he told us, as of right now, there are still no suspects. And if you have any information on the shooting, to please contact the Jasper County Sheriff's Office at 601-764-2588. Live in the studio, Kamichi Wilborn for WDAM on your side.